So it's a Street Fighter 4. So actually, before regular Street Fighter 4 had even been released, people were already speculating and wondering about what we would do for a follow-up. Um, you know, before we even had the, the original version of 4 out there. Uh, when 4 was released, then in February, and people started playing it. Uh, you know, the more people played it, the more often they played it, uh, the more feedback we started to get, and you know, it became more and more obvious that people uh, really wanted and in fact expected a follow-up of some kind. Um, once we kind of proved ourselves with the reviews and the uh, and the sales and everything, it was actually quite easy to get them to approve a follow-up. Uh, and since the fans are obviously demanding it, uh, that's how it all began. We're looking to add around eight-ish characters. Um, that's what I've uh, gotten the uh, the R&D team to promise to deliver. So we're looking to add about that many character-wise. You know, as you know today, we're just uh, talking about uh, a couple of this new lineup. Um, it's important to note as well too that uh, we're not just talking about adding new characters to this game. We're also looking to uh, beef up the online modes quite a bit. Uh, once again, based on, uh, on user feedback and things they were asking for, uh, people seem to really like the arcade fight request feature we had in the original version of 4, where you could play arcade mode and people could jump in and challenge you online. Uh, but we're looking to add even more this time. A lot of people uh, made it quite clear that they wanted to play uh, in larger groups rather than just like uh, a one-on-one -on -one sort of environment, get more people involved, and they also wanted to get an idea how other people were playing. Uh, they wanted to see what was going on with other people. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to Judy. Uh, she represents a lot of firsts for the Street Fighter universe. Uh, she's the first Korean character in a Street Fighter game. She's the first uh, user of Taekwondo. Um, a lot of times when you have a, a new character added to a fighting game, it's, it's natural to kind of make them the good guy, make them you know, a, a friend of, uh, of justice, a friend of good, so to speak. Uh, this time we decided to go a little different uh, route with this character, and she's uh, kind of nasty, kind of mean, uh, perhaps evil, in fact. Uh, you'll notice she has uh, her left eye glows when she does some of her moves, and that is an artificial eye. Uh, that was uh, implanted, in fact, by SIN. Uh, you remember SIN, the weapons manufactured, uh, run by uh, Seth, the boss everyone loves to hate. Uh, as you may imagine, she does have a, uh, a major role to play in the, uh, the main storyline of Super Street Fighter 4, so you'll definitely be seeing a lot more of her. If you're the type of person that really likes a good storyline in your fighting games, you can look forward, actually, to brand new openings and endings for all the characters. Um, you know, we have paid careful attention to the reviews and what people are saying. We're aware that people weren't exactly uh, thrilled by the uh, less than stellar quality of the opening and ending animations in the previous version of 4. We're uh, men enough to admit that, and uh, as an apology, we're remaking them entirely. Um, when, you, when you look at something like this, your first assumption might be that it would be you know, download contents. Um, but, uh, you know, to be honest with you, it's not going to be. There's, there's simply too much stuff going on with this update. It's just too big for something like that. So it will be a full-on disc release. But it's not going to be like the old days where we charge you 75 bucks for each you know, uh, successive iteration of Street Fighter. This won't be a full-priced game. Um, I'm not going to promise you a $5 game or anything like that, but it's going to be uh, a price that's appropriate uh, uh, to, to the amount of new content included. Um, you know, the sky's the limit w w when it comes to this. There's a lot of things I would uh, love to do with, with this engine and with this genre if, if, if given the opportunity. Um, in fact, I, I'd say that uh, you know, this, the only reason this game exists at all actually is uh, because fans kind of demanded it and were very vocal about wanting a new Street Fighter. Um, this isn't, we're not talking about an FPS here, you know, it's not easy to get these kind of games passed through upper management. Um, a fighting game just doesn't have the kind of market share uh, that, that more popular genres do. So the fact that people are really vocal made it very clear, yes, I would buy that if you made it. We were able to get this done. So along that same vein, um, you know, personally, the thing I'd like to make most is a new Darkstalkers. If anyone agrees with me, you know, get out, uh, you know, open up your email program and start uh, uh, sending off a rant to your nearest uh, Capcom representative. We'll see if we can't make something happen there. Um, I'm definitely not opposed to uh, taking this engine and expanding on it further at all.